These are very steep steps. Just as well as a cobweb to hang on to. God. Fuck. Don't die. Welcome to the den of iniquity. Holy crap. This seriously boiled its ass off, by the way. <laughs> it's like, I don't know how potent this crap's going to be. Well, apparently we're being Vikings today because we've got all this leftover honey. I thought I might try making some beer flavoured mead. We're going to make some proper mead wine later on, but let's not get carried away all at once. I stole some caster sugar. Shit, I used to have a glass down here to get taste in this crap. I don't know where that went. We might have to go and get one. You think about it clean up, wouldn't you? I've got this little thing to jig to fill the bottles with. Once upon a time, this actually had a little cool thing on the bottom of it that you could push the bottom up. You could put the bottle up there and it would actually have a little stop go tap. But that shit itself years ago, so <laughs> all I've got now is just a tube. <laughs> My God, it's alive, it's alive, it's alive. In fact, that'll be more than enough because that shit's going to be horrid. There's no scent. In fact, that might actually be all right. <laughs> That's obviously flat as fuck at the minute, but that actually might come up all right when it gets fizzing it. Or it might blow up the cellar, but anyway. Looks like bloody dishwater, really, doesn't it? But Shit, I tell you what, if you wash your dishes up in that crap, you'd chuck that out, wouldn't you? I love you Norwegian cousins. This is fucking awesome shit. Wow, oh, fuck. Fuck, now, that shit's gonna kill you. Okay. By the way, back in the day, I used to do this in stubbies. But I'm such a lazy prick because it takes so long and you've got to open too many, so I just got long necks now. You've got to love Coopers, they actually still got proper crown seals. Anyway, so that's my plan. So then you only have to open one, hang on, 700, what's 375? Is that half a bottle in it? So you only have to open one bottle so often, so you don't have to walk to the fridge so often. That's good. It's not even mouldy in the bottom of that shit. <laughs> Fuck, that doesn't, if we don't wreck this crap, we might actually make something nice here. I haven't made beer in years. No, I have no idea. Is anybody counting? Anybody good at maths? I don't really know. I've got roughly 20 litres. I've got 750 ml bottles. How many bottles am I going to need? Any clues? I haven't got my phone, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go with that many. And then when we need more, we'll do that. Because that's how like I am. Saves me adding shit up. But how cool is this? Look at this, you can go to the... Actually, you guys in America, you get a Home Depot, but we've got some crazy homebrew shops. And you... Ah, fuck, that's distilled. <laughs> anyway, you get this cool little two teaspoon thing, so you don't even have to bloody measure your shit. How good is that? Of course, waste not what not. I've got an old can. <laughs> Wonder why that were called crowns? Do you wonder why a beer bottle had a crown? I mean, that's kind of weird, because I mean, I'm sure the kings of old didn't drink beer. They were drinking wine and champagne and shit. So was that just the peasant's aversion? Hang on, hang on, not virgin. The peasant's idea to say that we're gonna have a crown on our drink. Because you know, like, I can't imagine the kings drinking beer. I mean, shit. Maybe it's because they look like a crown. Look at you digesting the logic. I love the way you think. I'm not sure if I'm pissed, but that actually tastes fucking all right. If that had bubbles in it, you know what? I reckon if you had some mead homebrew with a bit of stout in it, or whatever that was, dark ale or some shit, you know what? If you want to get fucked up here in Oz, or over there wherever you are, you can just email me and we might put this shit together. Hell, we can all get pissed together. That'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> anyway, once upon a time, 
There was a cool thing on the bottom of this that had a little thing that you just had to put your bottle up and do -do. But the only trouble is it dripped its ass off. So um, anyway, now I'm all primitive and I've just got... And the, apparently, apparently, I am not much of a brewer, but apparently you want to do this so as you don't get so many air bubbles in here, so otherwise you get a whole bottle full of froth. We've got this really cool brewery here in the Riverland called the Woolshed, and they uh, rocking that crap. And if I ever get this shit worked out, maybe I'll go up there and talk to her and we could have some mead beer. That'd be cool. station and the capping station is the same table which is pretty sad now if we were really motivated in the bottom of this bucket here because I reckon that's I'm pretty sure that's what Vegemite is is the whole lot of the bottom of the yeast barrel but I'm not sure it's got bees asses in it though is it, if that, we could have bees ass Vegemite that'd be kind of cool <laughs> I say Vegemite you American brothers would think is horrible shit you mix Vegemite and honey together, you've got sweet and sour, it's like Chinese shit on your toast. It's fucking awesome. That, that's almost a fucking complete diet, really, isn't it? Honey and malt and barley and... We might create something healthy. But if it's not healthy, at least you won't give a shit when you're drunk. Here we go, now we've got to put the caps on. What the fuck, hang on. What the hell is that about? That can't possibly be different heights. That's crap. Oh, come on! Bloody hell, Harry. Anyway, we're gonna put a crown seal on here. Oh. And we'll give the sugar a little shake. And then, good glorious happy day! thinking we could call this bee bummed beer <laughs> how fucked up would that be anyway if it's any good i'll let you know <laughs>